Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another comic book review. I almost said just book review, not really a comic book review. Today we are um, right smack dab in the middle of a series. The One of the, the writers, I think it is the writer, uh, Josh Jabkuga sent me a review copy of issue 4 of Bubba Hotep and the Cosmic Blood Suckers. I just said that wrong, I think. Bubba Hotep and the Cosmic Bloodsuckers. Right off the bat, this issue does not let up. Um, there's one or two slow moments, like in the first two issues of this series, but this issue was non-stop, just gnarly action, blood, gore, monsters, mayhem. This is easily, easily my favorite of the series. Not only my favorite book of the series, but it's probably one of my favorite comic books of all time. Um, now, I'm not a huge comic book fan. Um, I, I did like most of Victor Laval's Frankenstein. I did love uh, Cry Havoc. And when I was a kid, I loved Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, all the big names. Um, but as I get older, I get more into like the graphic novel kind of thing. Um, I like the Stephen King stuff all right. Not a huge fan of the Marvel Stephen King stuff, but it's okay. But this is fantastic. If you guys have not grabbed this series, you need to. If you're into weird, you need to read this. If you're into horror, you need to read this. Uh, this is based on characters uh, from uh, Joe Lansdale. Joe R. Lansdale. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Probably not. But <clears throat> I myself am not a huge uh, Lansdale fan. In fact, I've never been able to finish one of his books. Rage at me down there in the comments below. Um, I've tried like three of them, and every single time I start them, I, I, I stop reading them. I don't know why. I'm so sorry. Everybody who reads my stuff, ironically enough, everybody who reads my stuff tells me to go read uh, Lansdale, which I don't understand. But, uh, I mean, hey, you know, what am I, who am I to say? I've never actually finished one of the guy's, you know, books. But every time I get into it, it just seems a little too familiar um, I guess is my number one. It just feels like everything else. There's no unique voice there. And maybe that's because Lansdale has been writing so long that he's inspired all of my favorites. Um, that could very possibly be the reason, and I just should have started with uh, Lansdale. It's kind of like people who started off with Poe and Dickens and... Um, and Lovecraft and all, all that. They have a hard time consuming modern literature because it's not like that stuff. With me, I drastically, drastically prefer this comic book series to anything I've read of Lansdale's, but Lansdale didn't write this. So, um, and I, I know I'm making some people mad out there, and it is okay, it's just my opinion. And who knows, maybe one of these days I'll finish the Lansdale, and it'll be amazing. Um, but this series, um, I will put a link to the other review that I did down there in the doobly-doo. Um, Josh, if you watch this video, tell everybody where all they can find it. I'm sure you can order it from your local comic book shop. You can order it online. It is published from IDW, the same folks that did uh, Joe Hill's uh, Wraith, I believe. I'm pretty sure I'm looking over there. Yeah, it's IDW did that. They also did uh, Lock and Key. I think they did his cape stuff. Uh, pretty good company. I, I, I've dug all of their stuff. Boom Comics, I don't recommend Boom Comics, but I do recommend IDW. Again, fantastic, and I wish there was more I could say about it um, other than it's fantastic, but I'm going to show you one. I'm trying to find something that's not a spoiler, and I don't think this is too big of a spoiler, but just look at this, man. Look at that. Look at that artwork. That is fantastic. There's so much detail in these, in, on every single page. It's just great, great artwork. And so far, the storyline, man, storyline's been fun. Uh, there's, a, there's sex, violence, nudity, all different kinds of stuff in here. So if you're into, like, you know, uh, not really B-rated or cheesy, but if you're into over-the-top 80s action or gore or violence, that kind of thing, you really, really dig this series. Many thanks to Josh, I don't, I always get your name, last name wrong, Chakuga, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's also done by Galusha, Galusha, I don't know, and somebody named Hill. Uh, my hat tip to all of you guys who worked on this, it is probably my favorite comic book series to date, and this is definitely one of my favorite comic book issues. Have you guys read this? Are you planning to? Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, 
I have been E, you have been you, this has been another comic book, comic book review, I'll talk to you guys later, bye bye!